Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona's Place Trails in the Sky second chapter. Today we are leaving Tita and Agat, hopefully only temporarily because they do have some ornaments that I want, as well as some gear, but I think we're heading back to Bose, right? Yeah, I guess we can chat to some people. Uh, I would cut to when we get that back to Bose, but I, I definitely feel like there's going to be like something, some sort of scene happening here, so may as well just give it a moment uh, to let that happen. So yeah, okay, you know, now when you look at it, it does look kind of messed up. Some of these trees though from above, like the shots that we had last time, definitely did not seem like they were all that destroyed. Like this one over here seems actually pretty fine. Can I steal the fruit? No, that would be kind of mean, right? Place gets ravaged by a dragon and I'm over there stealing fruit like a, <laughs> like a psychopath. So let's see, I've told the story to Tita. Is there anything else we need to do? Hmm. Maybe. Let's, uh, make a quick round of the town. We talk to the people down near the barn, not the barn, the farm. Um, maybe we can go up to, uh, the inn? Or maybe the graves? I don't know. We don't need to stay. Now, I don't think this is the end end of the chapter. I think it's leading up to the end of the chapter. I kind of thought that we were going to have a boss fight back in the, the cave, and that would lead to the end of the chapter. But since there was no boss fight, I feel like we still have a little bit ways to go. And, you know, we might only be like halfway through the chapter. It just seemed like the, the pacing of the chapter seemed like it was nearing the end, which is kind of odd because we actually haven't been in this chapter that long. I mean, we've been here a decent amount of times. We've already been to the Elders, but let's go ahead and check again. Um, yeah, we've been here a decent amount of time, sure, but compared to some of the other places we've been to, uh, it's definitely shorter. It feels shorter anyways. That might not actually be the case. Let's do a quick little dipsy doodle up here. Nope, all right. So let's go ahead and... Oh, by the way, I figured out as he runs past the, the, the ramp down here. Uh, you can increase the amount of uh, frames fast forward in the configs. I never knew that. It's in the the separate game configs option <clears throat> that you can access in like the folder. All right, let's return to the city before the sun sets. Good idea. We'll probably hear back from the general tonight. So we better hurry back to the guild house. I mean, that's the plan. I thought that was, I thought that was the plan. There's the ruins market. Apparently, inside the market is a black abyss, where all the souls go. Probably could have used the texture there or something like that for like the innards of the market, instead of just a black abyss. Sounds like you kids had a workout. Still, to think of God's past was that terrible. Sadly, it makes sense in some way. Hearing the, this finally, uh, hearing this finally assembles all the pieces of the puzzle for me. It's no wonder God felt the way he did back then. Back, huh? It was ten years ago. How old are you, Mayabelle? You look like you're like 14. Practically the day after the war ended, a guy came to the mayor's house. What? What? Oh, right. You were you're the daughter of the past mayor. Okay, so you probably were like... Not 14. She's probably like 18, 19, 20, maybe. What? Why? You mean your house, Mayabelle? Yeah, he barged in with, honestly, with murder in his eyes and came face to face with my old man, the mayor at the time. He demanded to know why the mayor of Bose, the man responsible for the entire region, he demanded to know why he had abandoned revenue. Oh. I was just a child at the time and it got me to, it got to me when I saw him arguing with, with father for, for seemingly no reason. So I leapt out and slapped him. Oh man. I can see why he doesn't like remembering that, at least. Yes. Though ultimately, Father never answered Agat's question. He did say he was going to send financial aid to help repairs. Agat grew even more livid when he heard that. He even raised his fist to strike Father, but then he just left without throwing a blow. So that's what's happened. That's why the air between you two seemed kind of, uh, weird. Yeah, it's always hovered over us like a cloud. Still, to think Agat's sister died in the war. It's been- I've been terribly unfair for it to him. He bears a bit of responsibility too, I mean... I mean, yeah, for not saying anything, but I don't know. I'd like to hear why, I guess. 
Well, we already know kind of why, but... It does seem like a grave miscalculation to have a defense, like a border, defense border, put up near the town, right? Like, that close to the town. Should have been a little further away. Anyways, he bears a bit of responsibility, too, for not saying anything. You don't need to worry about it, Mayor Maybell. I suppose. How badly has it got hurt? Ah, uh, don't worry, it's not too bad. You'll be up in Surly again in two, maybe three days. Mm, let me be thankful. Let's be thankful for our small mercies, at least. Yes, I'm glad to hear it's not serious. Yes. That, um, reminds me, Mayabel. Yeah, how is Lila doing? Well, her injuries have been treated, but she hasn't come out of her coma yet. Oh, I... How despicable our supposedly lion-hearted fugitive. Lovely, refined ladies such as Lila are treasures that ennoble the world simply by existing. <laughs> I'll tell Lila you said that when she awakens. On the subject of good news, I'm glad the hair General Morgan came to your aid. If the guild and the army were to truly work together, I'm convinced no force in the world could stop you. Nothing's been decided yet, so we can't hope, uh, can't make any promises. But just between you, me, and the desk, we'll make it work. Ring, 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 banana phone. Dun, 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 dun. This is the Brace of Guild, Bo Bose Branch. You think you have to answer that? I guess, mm, I don't know. You can find a better way to answer the phone instead of like, this is the Brace of Guild, Bose Branch. Be like, this is Bose's Bracer Guild, maybe? I don't know. Oh, General, sir, we've been waiting. And here we go. Now we just, now to see just how well Morgan can set aside his pride. Oh, hmm, hmm. So that's the plan then. I understand, tomorrow at the landing board, 10 a.m. shop. I'll be sure to tell them. Thank you, sir. So, what's the word, Lugrin? The Royal Army is going to execute a plan to capture the dragon tomorrow using an airship. They say they want you on one of the airships as the Zuras. They're going to use airships? Whoa! Taking the battle to our foe in this his element, then. And with the elite of the Liberian military. Well, if we're just observers, we won't be able to do actually. Uh, we won't be able to do actually. We won't be able to actually do anything. Even so, I'm still grateful for a chance to get a closer look at the dragon. And it might just be up to us if the army fails somehow. No rest for the weary, then, huh? I'm up for it. <laughs> at last, some light at the end of the tunnel. Uh. Oh, what the hell was that? Hey, Bell. Hey, Bell, you all right? Yes, it was nothing. What are you talking about? It was nothing. It made my whole screen shake. You look dizzy enough to to uh, to be a toy tops, Mayor. You must be exhausted. But I know this Stell just I know what Estelle just said, Mayor. But don't strain yourself. <laughs> don't worry, I'm hardly straining myself. During the Hundred Day War, Father did everything he could to protect Bose. One time, he even conducted extremely dangerous negotiations in order to deceive the Imperial Army. Compared to what he did, this is nothing. Mayor, Mayor Bell. Oh, Mayor Bell. Estelle, everyone, please take care of things. Please dispel the fear that haunts the people of Bose and Revenue. Yeah, leave it to us. Are we gonna have a got and Tita for this? Hmm. I think I took Heaven's Eye off of... I put it on Tita, didn't I? Oh, shoot. Hey, God. Oh, God, come on. <laughs> you looking forward to your birthday? I got a present, and I'm sure it'll make, uh, make you super duper happy. Ugh, something I'll like, huh? You gonna make something tasty for me? Probably should lower his voice, but whatever. What? No! Why would you think of food when I mention a birthday present? Presents should be things that last, you know, something you treasure forever. You really think so? Mm, something that'll last and I'll, that'll treasure. Hmm, maybe a hunting knife or something. You gotta be- you got a hunting knife for, from the village, Elder Dummy. The answer is an accessory, handmade by yours truly. It's um, not done yet, though. Oh, hey. Accessory, like, what kind of accessory? I'm not a girl, you know. Oh, come on, Agat, you're so boring. Even boys can be stylish and cute if they have some kind of accessory. If you have one, Agat, even a, and even a stick in the mud like you will, be, will get all the ladies. Hey, come on, knock it off. Do you, um, really not want it? You've always taken care of me, so I wanted to give you something back. I've been working really hard to make it, but if it's really not something you like, uh, just don't make it too cute or flashy, okay? Hey, don't worry. It's simple but cool. It'll fit you perfectly, a god, I promise. What accessory does a god wear? A headband? Especially since you're so tall. Yeah, it'll be perfect, I bet. 
Yeah, I get it, I get it. Uh, you get me all curious now, so just make it good, okay? <laughs> all right, I will. Hey, God. What is it, Miska? So I was like, thank you so much for everything, uh, for being always being my big brother. Ugh. A dream, huh? This is... Yeah, this should be good. Mishka? No! A god? Oh, thank you. Adios. 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 Whatever. You're awake! Short stuff. Uh, how are your injuries? Do you feel okay? <sighs> yeah, this is no. Oh god, my spleen! No, no, don't move! You need sleep! Your wounds aren't healed at all yet! Oh, come on, stuff like this ain't that big of a deal. They'll heal even... They'll heal fine even if you ignore them. No! <laughs> I promised Estelle! I promised I wouldn't let you out of bed until you were better! Hey... No, no, no! I get it, I get it already. <laughs> Who? I was gonna get my cannon next! Jeez, getting all worked up over a bunch of scratches. Holy crap, it's nighttime already? Where the heck is everyone? They all went back to the city for a while. They made some kind of promise with General Morgan, I think. Promise with Morgan? Atita conveyed Estelle's message to a god. I see. So they got Morgan moving, did they? The guild ought to be hearing from the army right about now, in that case. Well, hell, I just can't. Dots? Stay here is what I want to say, but on the other hand, it is pretty late tonight. We'll get out to Bozy tomorrow morning. But look, I've got a, I've had a good long rest. I'm seriously feeling fine, despite all the blood loss. These really are just scratches, except for the fact that you can see my ribs. They'll heal up even if you're if I'm working hard. I'm fine, don't worry. I'm sure you're not you sure you're not forcing yourself? Hey, give the veteran priest a little bit of credit here. I ain't so crazy to go overboard on stuff like dragons of the society twice. Once, they are. Once is one thing. Twice, that's a completely different story. I can't keep putting you in danger either. No. Oh. Point is, I'm not, I sure don't have the guts to anger my scary little nursemaid. Trust me a little here. Oh, God. I guess you do look a lot better, though. Told you, didn't I? I know my limits better than anyone. Except for the time, like, you know, low beat the bejesus out of me. But that's good. Eh. Oh, crying. Oh, what's wrong? Sniff. Hick. S I said I'm okay, really. I swear to the goddess, I ain't lying. No, 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 that's, that's not it. I'm so relieved, it's just so, so... Wah! <laughs> Wah! Ugh. Come on, short stuff, calm down, I get it. No, I'm sorry, Tita. I guess I made you worry pretty bad, huh? After charging off alone, I get broken like a twig in a fight I had no chance of winning. And then on top of that, I made you do that crazy thing to protect me. Yeah, yeah, I got you, dummy. I was so worried and I saw you get hurt and then... Yeah, you're right. I really am a complete idiot. This is anime? Reanimating right now? No, no, that is... that is a still picture. The food is gonna burn. Sniffle. A little bit calmer now. Uh huh. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cry like that. Jeez, you sure not a shock guy. You know that. The whole thing went. Uh, the whole thing sort of shivered down my spine. Way worse than when I fought the silver-haired idiot. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God, are you hungry? I made some soup uh, with some things that the villager Jelladar left. Ah, so that's what that's. Well, that's what smelled so good. Right on. Wait, hold on. Wait, why is the the kitchen? Huh? Let me look. You gotta be kidding me. There's a few spots that are that are a little bit different, but it looks like like it did back then. Oh, what did the village elder come and like rearrange everything? Or keep it tidy for when he left. And there's something like this, too. <laughs> I'm amazed it survived. Huh? Alright, I'm probably losing you, aren't I? My place actually burned down ten years ago. 
You mean... One of those incendiary shells from the v Imperials hit it dead on. Caught fire instantly and burned down straight to the foundation. I've, I heard the village elder was his usually nutty self and had it rebuilt, but didn't think he, they'd put the furniture and decorations back together even. They even had my sister's bear that burned to ashes. I don't know how they got that there. I never could bring myself to come in here before. I guess I really gotta thank them, given how much they did. So, um, then, that's when Mishka... Huh, <sighs> secret's out, huh? She was making me a present for my birthday. Oh, so you never even got the accessory. It was a handmade accessory of some kind that she thought looked good on me. When we were fleeing for the mountain, she ran back to the house to get it. Don't do that! Like, I understand the urge to get, like, pets and stuff like that out of your house, but belongings... Even, like, pictures and videos that can't be replaced of, like, family... You don't want to risk your life to get them, because in the end, you could there could just be two tragedies. And house fires are devastating, so you, I, like, hopefully no one watching this ever has to live through that. But still, it's just... You gotta... Make sure things that are living are okay, right? Make sure yourself is okay. Don't, don't risk it, pretty much. Uh, anyways, uh, that's when the house was hit. When they finally pulled her out, she was burned pretty badly, let's put it that way. Even after everything she suffered, she still had the present, cl uh, present clutch in her hand. The metal parts were hopelessly melted, but the stones were still okay. Take a look. It's pretty. Uh, they ain't even septum. They ain't even valuable. There's some pretty rock. Probably something she found down by the river. I've lost count of the number of times I've thought all for this. It's funny, really. You know, I can't blame her or get angry at her for it. Never intended it for it to be a memento of her. When I left the village, though, it was the only thing I couldn't part with. Even when I became a raven down in ruin. <laughs> pretty pathetic for a thug, huh? No, not at all! No, that's pretty damn pathetic. As long as I hold on to this, I could never also I could also hold on, hold on to my anger. My anger at myself, my anger at the worthless, spineless son of a bitch who couldn't even save his own sister. But I ended up putting all that pent-up rage into every swing of my sword. And so as long as I did that, I could keep- I could at least look at- I could at least look like I was keeping it together. A half-baked man trapped by rage and self-deprecation, uh, and un unable to move on. <laughs> exactly like that bastard said. God. Nah, it's worse, ain't it? I'm just a piece of shit who runs away from anything painful. I'm the thing I hate most, a goddamn loser of a dog Don't mess with dogs, alright? A goddamn loser of a dog running around with a tail between his leg. <laughs> pathetic, absolutely pathetic. God, I... I don't really understand how you feel, God. And I don't really... I don't think I can really try to understand what makes you feel so hurt. But I think I need to say something, in Mishia's place. Huh? I, don't you dare make fun of my big brother! <laughs> you know what? You don't know the first thing about what makes my brother such a good man. I know my brother doesn't uh, better than anyone else. I won't let anyone talk badly about my brother, even if, even if it's you yourself. What? Huh? I know I might not measure up to Mishka, but but I still know a lot of good things about you, God. And and so it makes me sad to hear you say such bad things about yourself. It makes me kind of angry, despite not really understanding what you meant. And and. <laughs> oh man. Busting out the lecture sound exactly like Mishka. You sure are acting grown up short stuff. Don't treat me like a kid! I, I just... I was really sad and angry. Eh, sad and angry. I don't really know the first thing about myself, huh? You really hit it on the head. Oh. Thanks, Dita. You really helped me see it. God. Ain't no point in trying to gr uh, judge myself when all you can see is your own limited ver vision of yourself. All you can really do is plow on. Anger, sadness, neither have anything to do with it. You just have to go straight until you find the answer. Huh, maybe then. Maybe then I'll finally understand why I've held on to this thing for so long. Ah, backstory. Always good. Ah, good night rest. Also always good. Ah, black abyss of a market. Not so good.
That panning shot of the the 2D models, the sprites, from semi 3D. I don't know what kind of perspective it didn't really look good though on the panning shot. So the market's already being repaired. That's wonderful. That's certainly got it. Uh, they certainly get to it quickly. It only happened yesterday. Yes, Mayor Maybell throwing uh, Maybell's throwing herself into it. She's already sent aid to revenue as well. Uh, revenue as well, so I heard. Everyone's doing their best, even though it's, uh, even though their fear, even though their fear. Okay, maybe I misread that. I've heard from I have heard word from Grantsel as well, and Grandmother has issued a, pro a proclamation. She stated that the government will respond immediately to the threat of the dragon. Will a send aid to the affected areas. That's our queen. Awesome. I mean. Good, that she's she's the leader. She should be doing that. <laughs> I can think of a certain lords and ministers of Abronia who could stand to learn such an example. There's far more interested. Uh, they are far more interested in attending fancy parties and addressing the con uh, concerns of citizens than addressing the concerns of citizens. Ironically, I could say a lot of the same for the Republic. Half the time, politicians seem to spend so much time dancing around each other that they never get anything done. <laughs> well, it may help that we're such a small country. Regardless, preparations for the plan against the dragon should be almost complete. Time to go see what the Royal Army can do then. So we should just head to the land port, I guess? Yes, you're scheduled to depart at 10 a.m. port number one. It's about nine now, so you should have a, you should have time to pick up supplies. How about side quests? It'll be a little difficult with the market uh, in the state it is. Market merchants have been put up in the hotel for now. They're still up for business, seemingly. So you should be able, uh, seemingly. So you should be able to pick up some necess uh, necessities. Stuttering, lovely. Nothing like, uh, nothing like persistence. It would be wise to visit them before we head to the landing port. Okay, so is that my warning that we're gonna be wherever we're going for a while? Probably. No side quests. Um. So yeah, this place is completely being rebuilt right now. We need to go to the marketplace. I mean, the inn, which is right here. Are you a market? You are a market. All right, uh, hi. What do you have? You have ingredients. Fair enough. You are not a market, you're Emmy. Hi, Emmy, goodbye. Your heart, I don't know who you are. Your markets, what do you have? Um, get 22 of those. Okay, we'll buy two more reviving salts. Uh, why, Kronos? I'm just gonna eat a number. You're a maid. You don't sell anything. Hi. You are Libro? Uh, we have. Ooh, special. We can, uh, yeah, we can see what that is. We haven't really read any of these books, but at the same time. Oh, it's about the dragon. Dorothy, where did you get these photos from? Jesus Christ. Are you literally just like... Everywhere? Can't even imagine how you got up there. Oh, it's you. Oh, shush, it's a dragon, you idiot. How dare they stop me from getting back to the Imperial, blah, blah, blah. Who, who cares if it's a dragon? What, do you want to fly up there and be shot down by a dragon? You dumbass? Uh, we don't need any of this stuff. Alrighty. I'm assuming the other places are still open for business. Alright, so we will go to the port next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to hit my video section, check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. If you're into watching the live stream, and at twitch.tv slash Kronosplays, give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.